Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to another wave effect, the wave motion. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So let's create a brand new project. Next, let's add a simple ADSR because we want to control the output coming from, again, a wave table oscillator because that is where the wave mode motion will be applied. So we go on the generator, wave table oscillator, and then we click here and we click on the plus sign. And then as you can see, we are on the processor, wave table, and here we have the choice for wave motion. Okay, as you can see, it's a very straightforward uh, set of parameters. You have high pass, speed, amount, and then a type here, which uh, act on partials, but also on phases as well. So let's set the high pass dial down to a minimum. So because this will block uh, um, a frequency, it acts like a high pass filter. So let's set this down to a minimum. And then here you have the speed on which uh, for the motion which you can see is already acting on it. You can see it there. And then, of course, you have the amount. You can have it really wild, like so. If I click and hold here, we can have a, also a bigger representation here, which is nice. And you can see how it's acting there. And we can, of course, change the speed of motion as well. We can have high speed and smaller amount. Now let's change the shape, uh, the wave table here. Okay, then you have this high pass filter. So at the moment, the motion is being um, applied as an effect. Let's increase the high pass. At this point, it will stop and, um, because uh, of the cutoff that is set by that high pass filter. So if I go up the register here, you can start to see some movement further up. Further up again, etc., etc. As you can see, the more movement. Okay, perfect. So that is how you can use the high pass filter. So that is on partial, but of course you can also use it on phase as well. So let me reduce the speed here, like so. And of course you can change the amount as well. Let me open up uh, this view, which you can see a little bit better. And you can see how it is acting on phase as well. Let me go back to a basic shape as well. You can see that as well. You can see there as well as uh, um, I increase the speed. And the great thing, of course, when you use uh, phases is that, um, for example, you could copy this and then add these, uh, like so, paste. And then perhaps uh, you can add uh, a mixer here, like so, and take uh, both here, one and the second one. And then you can change the speed independently. Of course, the outcome depends really on the wavetable that you have chosen as well in terms of what you hear. Let 
let's choose again this cloudy here. You can hear better the difference now with these setting or speed on phases. And uh, this can be really useful if you want to give a little bit more life to the wavetable which is being played. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.